Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, this video is going to be a little different. I don't have a project or an activity that I'm working on to share with you, but I am just way too excited about all the up and coming projects not to share kind of a look ahead with you of what's going to go on in 2023. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to talk about 2022 a little bit and just say thank you to all the new subscribers. It's really humbling to me that people want to watch these videos where half the time I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just taking you along for the journey. Um, because of the support in 2022, the channel, I was able to monetize the channel and uh, I've been able to donate um, all of the ad revenue to a charity called Doctors Without Borders. So I was able to cut them a check at the end of this year uh, for about $1,000. And it's all thanks to people like you um, that want to watch me just get into the projects that I do. Um, the other thing I want to address too, because of all the new people tuning in, is I just wanted to give a little bit of context um, just based on some of the comments I get, I think there's a wide range of what people think goes on here versus what actually goes on here. And um, this is just a, a shop that I built in my backyard with no previous building experience. Um, and then I started documenting it on YouTube, but uh, it's just behind my house. It's a, it's a residential, you know, neighborhood and i don't do like commercial work here i don't charge anybody for the for the things that are done in this shop it's just projects that i either take on myself or um, it's my friends bringing their cars over so that we can just hang out and work on them together um, this uh, I, I think also like people assume that i live in the middle of nowhere because um, to build a shop this size, but I did want to share that I actually live like about 30 or 40 minutes from uh, Detroit. So I live in the Metro Detroit area in Michigan, right between Detroit and Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, and it's just a really cool area because you can live 30 minutes from the city, but still buy some acreage on a dirt road and put up a big shop, um, but kind of be in the middle of everything at the same time. And it's just a really inexpensive place to live and do that kind of thing. Um, so Michigan is really cool if you're not familiar with it. Um, now getting into, oh, the other thing I wanted to do um, as far as, as like the channel and how things are going is I've had, um, I've had multiple companies reach out with sponsorship opportunities. And, and that's extremely humbling. It's pretty exciting too. But, but after kind of sitting back and looking at that and thinking about it, like that's not really what this channel is about. Um, it's just about me documenting projects I'm gonna be doing anyway. Um, I don't really go and create videos for the sake of creating videos. Like I'm not looking for projects just so I can create videos. Um, it's kind of the other way around. I'm already going to be doing these projects and I may as well document it while I'm doing it. Um, so as far as the sponsors go, you know, thanks to everybody that's reached out. Um, but as of right now, I just, you know, I don't really feel the need to um, partner with anybody or be affiliated with any kind of projects or services. Um, so that all being said, I... I want to talk about all of the things that are going to like, I'm going to be doing in 2023 right now. Uh, I don't even know what, what the date is, but it's, it's the end of December of 2022. And there's a ton of projects that I already have lined up, mostly self-imposed. Um, and let's just walk around real quick and start looking at what's going on. So the reason I want to talk about all the projects too is because I actually don't typically document everything I do. I just kind of pick and choose what I think people might be interested in or what might help people. And so the point here is if I talk about something um, 
and you're interested in it, drop me a comment so that I know it's like worth filming and going through the trouble of making a video for. Um, so I think the first and, and most exciting thing that I wanna share with you all, you can see I got some pallet racking, these big shelves back here. Um, and what that did was spark me to start finishing the insulation on the shop here. And you know, that insulation, that paper face stuff that went up, I think that's been over two years and it was just a mess to work with. Um, and I ended up finding this vinyl faced insulation. So I'm really excited. I really love this stuff. Easy to work with. I'm going to do a full video for sure about my install process and everything I like about that insula insulation. Um, the other thing that's going on is uh, I finally picked up kind of like the last toolbox I'm ever going to buy. So I am going to be moving from this classic series snap on into this master series snap on box. And they're, they're actually different enough. Like I didn't think there would be that big of a difference. Um, but the build quality, there's a lot of differences. Um, and I think I might do something talking about that. Um, this car here, by the way, is my dad's car. It's a 92 Thunderbird. Him and I did a bunch of work to, on it recently that we didn't film, um, like replacing a lot of cooling system components, power steering components, all the brakes. I still have to do a pinion seal on this and I want to do the U-joints while the drive shaft is out. You have to pull the gas tank to get the drive shaft out. So while the gas tank's down, I'm just going to put a pump in it. Um, other things that are going on, uh, I actually do while like in the process of doing the insulation, I want to paint the ceiling black in here and I want to address, I think I've figured out a cool way to kind of address all the cracks that have already happened in the drywall like there, like that paper hanging down. Uh, definitely wasn't the best choice to put drywall on the ceiling here, but kind of is what it is at this point. Another thing is I have this 81, it's called a Honda Passport. You can see the sticker here. Uh, this was given to me by some friends because it wasn't running and so with the help of my friend Brent, who you've seen in some of my other videos, Brent's like a carburetor magician and he got the carb sorted out. And what I have left to do on this thing is um, build an, an exhaust for it because the exhaust rotted out. And it's still running a little lean. And I think once I get this exhaust back on there, um, it's gonna run really well. And this thing is super fun, by the way. It's crazy when you have a bike like this and you have more fun on this thing, that's really saying something. Um, I also, something that happened that I didn't film, I did buy this uh, 10 and a half inch trim brake and do all the exterior trim on my house. Uh, I, had, I had a guy stop by and offer to do my trim work for $2,500, but I was able to buy this for $1,200. And I think I can sell it for the same price. And so it saved me a whole lot of money just to do it myself. Um, the other thing, I'm gonna turn this camera around. So a few of the other things that are going on um, that I'll just tell you about. I am gonna be building a um, kind of built in uh, toolbox workbench setup not in here i'm actually going to do this over at my friend brett's place he's the owner of uh, fenfab uh, who you've seen like we've installed some fenfab parts in some of the videos that we've done before um, and i always like i have a great time just hanging out with brett and dave who work over at fenfab and um, it's just a, it's just like fun for me to go hang out in their environment for a while and do a project over there. Um, I also, my friend Will, who you've seen in some other videos, he has a, um, I think it's a 17 uh, Ford Raptor, F-150 Raptor. And Will wants to do a conversion from the plastic oil pan on the Raptor to a metal oil pan that actually kind of 
replaces the two-piece design with a one-piece metal design uh, and it's not as prone to leaking and uh, it doesn't seem like there's really a video out about that yet so we figured we would do one um, and then a lot of the other stuff that's happening this year is going to happen inside the house and it may or may not be it's not really on brand for this channel it's not necessarily something i might film unless somebody's really interested in it um, but i am going to be tearing a wall down in my house between my kitchen and living room it's a non-load bearing wall it's relatively easy to get rid of uh, and then i want to do um, kind of build like a custom kitchen island set up uh, potentially build in a pantry next to my fridge like so kind of a bunch of um, just renovation construction type stuff in the house that uh, I've been waiting a really long time to do that stuff. Uh, I've lived here for six years now and essentially poured all of my effort into, you know, designing and building this shop and doing a lot of work out here. So it feels good to kind of, kind of have gotten to a point where I'm ready to attack some of the stuff inside the house which even though i'm out here a lot i work from home and i work from home inside the house and so i'm there all the time and any improvement that i make to that space is just going to be a, a really big deal for me so i'm excited about that too so i almost forgot too as far as shop stuff goes uh, i mentioned the insulation i meant to, i mentioned painting the ceiling because I'm going to be insulating, it's kind of that final opportunity to make like any modifications or run any more electrical or do, you know, do all that stuff. Um, one thing I am going to do that uh, I think might be interesting is I've always planned on having a, um, like a, like a human sized door in the back here. I, I don't know if you can see this. I actually, so I actually do have a light switch there. Um, for the shot like the entire shop is on a three-way switch there that way when there's a door back here You could walk out the back door and flip the lights off so I do plan to um, Kind of frame out a human sized door there and I might actually I, I'm gonna have to move that switch over I didn't realize these shelves were gonna be that long um, and I want to do that kind of before or while I insulate so that I can work around it. Um, and in this corner of the shop, I've always wanted to build some type of mezzanine. Um, I, I don't really have enough ceiling height to make uh, like, a, like a really great place where you could stand up and still have a ton of room. Like I'll either have to sacrifice some on the bottom or some on the top. Um, but I would love to do a mezzanine either Maybe for storage, I was also thinking about making a little office up there because it is a lot warmer um, as you get closer to the ceiling in this shop, despite having the fans and everything. Um, so I think it'd be cool uh, to build something back there. So I know that doesn't sound like uh, very many car projects. Uh, however, the funny thing with the car projects is they just come as they come. Like, I know there's going to be a ton of car projects this year. We'll probably see some of the cars we've already worked on come back for more work as my friends decide they want to make more modifications or fix things or whatever have you. Um, as far as my cars go, uh, I know there's, you know, some people like the Civic videos. I still, the Civic is running great. That's why there's not really been any videos about it. Um, I, I'm going to do a few things to the Civic, like install, I'm going to install a power inverter um, so that I can plug my laptop in while I'm tuning. And I've got some um, like rear camber shims that I'm going to put in the back. Probably not stuff worth filming unless somebody tells me otherwise. Um, but, you know, I, uh, my truck also has over 200,000 miles on it and um i don't know i've been saying i was going to get rid of it for years but i still love it so tbd whether i decide to do some more like rust repairs or do something with the truck maybe put a flatbed on it i don't know um or 
if I decide to move to another platform completely, um, you know, I'm, I'm kind of overdue to, um, you know, to, to look at buying like, I don't know, I don't know if I'd move to a different truck platform or a different car platform. Um, we'll see. We'll see if that's going to happen this year or not. I might end up mo focusing more on shop stuff and, ho and house stuff. Um, but trust me, my friends will come up with plenty of car projects uh, for me to work on and film for you all. Um, so anyway, I know um, this video is not the most interesting video. It's not my typical kind of DIY. Um, it's more of a, maybe we can call this like my first video log or vlog. Um, but I'm just, I'm super excited about everything that's going on and um, really excited that people are tuning in and, and want to see uh, what's going on with these projects. And also really excited that that gives me the opportunity to use that ad revenue to give back and donate. Um, so thanks to everybody for tuning in and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.